He only deserves worship and no one else. And the Quran gives this example in Surah Yunus chapter number 10, verse number 31, that when you ask the pagans, who is the one who controls everything from the heaven and the earth? Who is the one that controls the hearing and the sight? Who is the one who gives life to the death and death to the life? Who is the one who controls all the efforts? They will say, the mushrik will reply, Allah. Then why are you deluded from the truth? Allah gives the message in Surah Zukhra of chapter number 43, verse number 87. When you ask them, ask the mushriks, the pagans, who is your creator? They say Allah. Then why do you worship somebody else? So here Allah is giving the example in the Quran that the mushriks, they believed in one Allah. They believed in Toidar Wubia, Toidar Smasifat, but they worshipped other gods besides Allah. Therefore Allah says in Surah Yusuf chapter number 12, verse number 106, most of the people worship not Allah without associating partners with Him. That means most of the human beings, they worship Allah, but along with associating partners with Allah. So you find that even the non-Muslims believe in God, believe in Allah, but they associate partners with Him.